Hey fellow world dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today we'll be opening 1000 crafted mole miner pails for science to see what we can expect, what are the exact odds, is it worth it? This time as well I remembered to remove all my caps from a test character and all the script so I will have exact accurate data from items, I only have weapon equipped so I can see how much ammo I will get and everything else is as empty as it is possible. Oh, why is that here? I can get rid of that. So now it's empty. I have it favorite so I will be able to open it quickly and on the way I will be tracking amount of currencies like script to see how many it will take to fill my limit, 5000 script. As well, if you are new to the pails, just a very quick crafting guide. If you are buying them, they are under miscellaneous ad vendors, train station vendors. So you have three options. There is Dusty Mall Miner Pail, that's super cheap, but this is not the pail you are looking for. The good stuff is not there. Then there is more expensive, Mall miner pale, it's empty, you still need to craft it. And this is the one you are looking for. Here you will get all the plants, script, currencies that you need. There is one more, three times as expensive ornate pale, but you only have 50% more loot, so not worth the price. The math do not add up here, so that's the one you need. Mall miner pale, and then you go to Tinker's Bench and you craft it. So now I will start spamming the hot button and on the way I will be checking how are we going so I don't overflow too early. As you can see I'm already getting some legendary stuff. So at this moment I have 560 left so I opened 440 and 440 pails gave me exactly 5000 scripts. So it is a good script yield. So I will get, I could get about 11K from 1000 pails. So that is a good score. That is more than 10 per single mole miner pail. And a quick info here, regular crafted mole miner pail is equivalent of ornate pail that drops from enemies. So crafted is better. Now let's open remaining 560. And finally, all of them opened. So first, cups, 7,700. So that's decent amount of cups, but actually there is more script. If not the cup, I would have much more script than cups. And of course, we want script way more than cups. Then, items. What are we getting? From weapons category, a lot of broadsiders. Those are the broadsiders inside. Not the best broadsiders, but fun nevertheless. A lot of random grenades if you need those. Then you have rolling pins, a whole collection. Nocturnal rolling pins. A lot of those. A lot of plasma grenades. Then Vampire Sickle, that's surprisingly like quite decent weapon for, for those pails. And that's a lot of those weapons. So there are three different weapons that you can find in them. Mostly to be honest, this is a script folder. So that's extra script on top of other script. Then there is no armor. Under apparel, you have Deathclaw hunter outfit and a hat and maybe i will show you how it looks like as we go over it so that's the deathclaw hunter outfit and a hat next garahan foreman helmet and outfit and there is how it looks like after that we have grafton monster mask this is this beautiful huge mask, it's actually quite cool. Then 
There is a strongman outfit. You can be a strongman in Fallout 76. And this is it from the apparel. Then food and drink, of course, a lot of alcohols, a lot of purified water, and one important thing, sugar bombs, irradiated ones. So the ones needed for crafting can happen there. I wish it would be more, just 58, so that's around 6% chance to get a sugar bombs. That's a little bit low. Next. We have eight, and that's plenty full of runaways and stem packs. Nothing from miscellaneous, nothing holotapes, notes. Those are the plants that you can get. There is a lot of them, and worth to mention, there is as well several plants related to nuclear winter. I will not see, just because you can only drop them once, and I was playing nuclear winter, so they will never drop for me again, so I will not see them. If you never played Nuclear Winter, you will see some Nuclear Winter related plants. So, there is Animatronic Clown, Balloon Art, Bed of Nails, Bucket of Star Balloons, Camo Backpack, Cave Cricket Tube, Circus Cage Trailer, Fire Station Bell, Grafton Monster Lamp, Insurgent Hat, that's the outfit and hat, those are for outfit, Junkyard Fountain, Marine Armor Helmet Brown can drop from that. Neon Light Dinner Clock. Radstack Hunting Knife, that's a skin. Row Cement Barricade. Safari Crocolossus Backpack, that is a really cool one. Then Safari Gorilla Backpack. Cool one too, but I, I'm a fan of Crocolossus Backpack. This is better one and it looks like it's dropping less. Scotchby's Queen Plushie. Scotch Tube. Small Voldger statue, Snallygaster plushie, Strongman Super Sludge Paint, TV Aquarium, Treasure Hunter Outfit Plan, Treasure Hunter Outfit Hat Plan, Vault 76 Rag, State Bird Rag, West Virginia State Bird Rag, Wanamingo plushie, and Yaogwai Tube. And all those plans seem to have quite similar drop chance. Maybe like two different ones, but mostly looks like between half percent to one percent with the sledge paint like doubled, most likely like double the chance. Then junk, aluminum, black titanium, coal, crystal shards, gold scrap, nuclear waste and silver scrap. It's all in about equal amount. So if you need it. There is a little bit of scrap. No mods and ammo. Total amount 57,000 from 1,000 pails. And that's for 5 millimeters. Different ammo for different weapon. Quantity will vary. Uh, that's a lot of 5 millimeter ammo. And this will be everything that's inside those pails. The plan by the look of it are not new, so I think I have all their video when I'm showing all those plans, so this didn't change. So there is no need to include the showcase of all those plans one more time. So that will be it for this video. I will try to pop it on the screen like the older video from Treasure Hunters so you can see what those plans are. And now as always, thank you all for watching and see you all in the next one.